two episodes in and we already have two waifus. We got a dragon samurai weeb and we have a spider who is a masochist. She just wants to be kind of tortured. She has like crazy regeneration abilities, which fits perfectly for us to kind of like, you know, do sadistic shit to her. And she fucking loves that shit. So we got those two girls and we have Emma. In terms of personality, to be honest, I kind of like Emma. I, Emma's really nice, man. I just need to hear like an Onisama from her. And then I'm like, ah, that's Miyuki. Now I don't know what we're going to do with this episode, but let's find out. Let's begin today's reaction. No aptitude for healing magic. I thought we could heal anyone in our domain, but we just can't heal ourselves. But this is different, right? We're getting healed here. Is it the damages from the spider, right? Because she got he got punctured like crazy. Eighty twenty contract. No, we just skipped consent. Like she doesn't give a fuck about it, right? Even Shin was like, "Nah, we can worry about that shit afterwards." It's kind of fucked up if you switch the gender roles, but clearly. Gender, you know, these things, double standards exist for a reason. Uh. <laughs> Little si what the fuck is that tongue? <laughs> oh, and we have like a... Some kind of like elder dwarf too here. <laughs> they're both kind of... Not dumb, but they're fun. Yeah, this is like a legendary dwarf, man. Famous, sacred, and noble artifacts. Yeah. Elder is like the highest tier of dwarf here, I guess. Baron. Yeah, pretending. Oh? Alright, all the dwarves are coming over to our place. They're gonna be the best fucking artifacts. Yeah, exactly. They're gonna be the best craftsmen, artisans. <laughs> Pay taxes on your land. Yo, she's a fucking ruthless businesswoman. What the fuck? Immediately before the negotiations happen. Nah, uh, uh, you gonna pay a fucking tax, bro. She was. No, we can just fucking teleport them here, right? Can't we? Isn't that what fucking Shin did with the door, uh, the orcs? The fuck is that? Dragon scales are a great material? Okay, it's like super rare like material from Shin that's able to like convince the other dwarves to come over here. Alright. The dwarf and Shin get along pretty funny. And we're trying to trace our parents' past, that's right. But we can't even talk to humans. I just feel like the humans are gonna be evil, man. This is what they do in Kingdom, right? When you like, go, go visit your king or something? Is this naming system gonna be the same thing as Slime, where we give a name officially to someone and they fucking like evolve? Hold up. What do we name her different? We gotta, I gotta change the fucking names now? Miss Spider. How about dragon and spider, huh? She's trying to make sure that she's the main girl. But technically, she's not the main girl. She's not even the first girl. Emma's the main girl, dude. Dragon girl. How about Shin? Shin-ne. Tomoe? <laughs> is Tomoe like a samurai name? Okay, so it's like a valiant female samurai. She's gonna love this, right? That she could be like, oh my god, I love samurais. Okay, she's, she's glowing now. Name system. There's a lot of inspiration from... Sorry, slime took inspiration from Skimichi, right? It's not the other way around, but goddamn. There's so many similarities. Wait, 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 wait. That was kind of important. Wait, wait, wait. Obviously, naming gets you stronger, and... There's a name that would maximize your strength. Some names would just max her out? Is Toma even, like, a good name for her? So some names that aligns with whatever she is, it would just, like, greatly enhance her powers. I wonder if we can also rename people. Yeah, the dance is very cute. Husband? Dearest husband? 
みんなを探してください。命令で。これと名前です。What, what, what, what she want? 名前あるなら教えてもらえます。I just realized, you know what we should name Emma, bro? You know what we should name Emma? Chris, middle name P, last name Bacon. Chris P. Bacon. That's what we should name Emma. She then you ever got a mega yo, you know this. Wakata yo, ja. Ima made no conojo a zutto kufu. Dakara. Congo kimia. Mio, nanore. Mio. Pretty close to Tio, huh? And Tio is from Arifurata, you know, the dragon master chest. Zero and preferred element of water. Okay. Did she glow? Sure. Okay, we have Tomoe and Mio now. No longer Shin. All the dwarves and. Oh, what? The spider people? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't realize it was gonna be everybody from like fucking Tomoe and Mio's side, too. And you have Tomoe's fragment there still. Yo, Emma should be up on the stage. My lord. My lord. Waga Aruji. Oh, they don't like your grace. They like young master. They really don't like, you know, your grace, huh? They voted, true. Young Master's a cool title. Oh, look at them. The orcs are so cute, goddammit. The orcs, like, bubbly eyes are too cute. Oh, I lead the Elder Dwarves. My name is Eld. Very original name, Mr. Elder Dwarf. Barely human? What does that mean? Barely. Charged with the mission from the god. No, she just gave us, you know, the ability to talk to anyone except the common tongue, right? Fuck that goddess, dude. You don't really have a mission. The god is nice. The god sucks. We got no mission here. We're just chilling. Oh? Anti-goddess faction? What does that mean? Our opinions differ from the goddess? So this is probably some endgame stuff. We don't really know what the intention of the goddess is in this world and what kind of role she plays. Right? Usually the goddess sends the hero that's been reincarnated and is like, Hey, go defeat the demon lord or some shit, but... Interesting that we're kind of like already in an opposing faction and the people here are like, oh, we don't really like the goddess either. The lizard men. Mist lizards. Where's Gabiru? Yeah, they look cool. First time hearing that you got followers, yeah? Huh. Spiders. There's a lot of girl spiders here, man. Now... <sighs> spider girls are still kind of scary to me. I, I can't get over this. The, the, the top is kind of nice, but the, the spider girls, I don't know. That's, that's, it's too scary for me. You, your essence? What do, you, what do you mean, your essence? Did you ask consent for that? Were we sleeping when you extracted our essence? What do you mean? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? Okay, blood and mana. Okay, sure. Okay. Oh! Yeah, the spiders are absolute fucking freaks. They love this shit, huh? They can just regenerate too, huh? Oh, oh. <laughs> kind of creepy. Oh, they're a little shy. Huh? Oh, she's kind of cute. She's kind of cute. That's good. Elder Dwarf. Arke. What are we missing? Ogres? Where's the ogres? Bye bye. I don't want to do that work. I don't think this, like, going to the human village is going to be good, though. I don't have a good feeling, man. Oh. Blonde girl. 
Wow. Oh, her t her language, right? The voice is already kind of distorted to show that she's speaking the common tongue. Even if Makoto looks like a human, because, you know, his language doesn't, you know, transcend that barrier. They just assume we're, we're just basically monsters, huh? Interesting. Yeah, you can't speak the common tongue, bro. Oh shit, they've already come out to the front gates. Yo! But we shouldn't do that though, right? This is so funny how they're like, you know, their voice is all distorted to make sh to let us know that that's the common tongue. Even though they're speaking fucking Japanese still, you know? I don't know what to say. That bear. So, that barrier, again, we're getting to learn a little bit more. Remember, you can do anything in that barrier, but it also, you don't have to be stationary. You can basically move with it, which is even more busted. I thought that a restriction of that barrier could be that he has to, like, stay within it. Like, when he's casting, he can't move it around, but Bro can literally fucking move with it. That's fucking insane. <laughs> Emma. The common tongue. Prosperous. Define prosperous. Wait, they can all speak it? What do you mean appearance? Even the dwarf said that before too. Yeah, like you don't really look like human. Like he, everybody here looks like a fucking human except Emma. What do you mean he doesn't look like a human? What? The fuck? Oh, this is some Rimuru shit again, dude. This is like Veldora's aura fucking oozing out as soon as he came out of the fucking, you know, place. So it's like, okay, they're all scared because it's... So we need like a fucking mask or some shit to that's restrained. And there's so many similarities. So many fucking similarities, dude. It's like a haze? Damn. Holy shit, really? This is how the common person like perceives him? That's insane. Yeah, what do we do? Do we need a mask? Alright, just imagine you're just sucking in the powers in. <laughs> There's still four of them. Ten? Oh, he's actually gonna fucking wear a mask, dude. One week later. And he can't study for shit. Oh, oh. the common tongue again. Two weeks. Suppressor monitoring? Yeah? A curse ring. Hey! I mean, this isn't copying, but like, and you know, welcome to Demon School Yurumakun. He also had a ring that kind of like suppresses the mana. Or at least it kind of just like stockpile the mana, actually. So like, the ring isn't good enough. We need something even more. He has way too much. One month time skip. Ve. Ve. Even, even uh, Tomo is saying we're useless. It's gonna break again, isn't it? It's gonna fucking break. Oh, oh, it's doing it! So red is the limit and white is like the other end. Okay. Yo, John Smith mask! Yo! She has a fucking samurai sword now. Look at her. Look at, let's go, Tomoe. So the dwarves are forging her a katana too? It went fucking widescreen to be like a samurai movie, dude. And the bamboo fucking trees out of nowhere. Hmm? What does Mio look like? She like that? I like your gloves. I, I like I like Mio's gloves. I don't know why, but the black gloves, they looked very nice. <laughs> yes, we're smuggling. No CGI horse here, man. 
All right, smuggled in. Uh, orange hair girl? Beautiful? What do you mean beautiful? What? He actually just finds them really attractive? Oh, okay. Is that a big plot detail? I don't know. All right, here's the guild receptionist girl, yep. She's not giving us very good looks. Yeah, we're looking very sus. Damn, Mio, you kind of scared. Hey, why are you holding your sword like that? Don't you dare insult our Aruji. So he can only speak through little text. Because, like, he can't pronounce it, but at least he understands the sentence structure. So his way of speaking the common tongue is brrrp, and the words show up, okay. Whoa, look at this tier system. A, B, C, D, E, and it goes all the way to triple S, and then triple S is the highest tier. E to triple S, okay. I wonder how strong he is right now. And bro is literally still blushing looking at the receptionist, even though he's got two beauties right beside him, but like... He is ridiculously strong. He immediately took out the invincible dragon Shin and took out the fucking black disaster spider in the second episode. So I want to guess that he's at least S. Mm. We gotta do the special ones then, if you wanna go up in ranks. Uh, yeah, about that. I love how every Isekai has like an adventure skill and the merchant skill. Alright, let's... Oh, 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 this guy seems important. Wait, what was that? The blonde dude? Blonde guy here, and then... The highest ranking adventure in this city is Mills Ace, probably the blonde guy we just saw, huh? Okay. SS. He's a level cap. I don't. The level cap goes pretty fucking high, huh? 444. Four, four. What are we right now, though? Do we even have a level? <laughs> this measuring scroll is good to level 400. Implying. I don't know what the red really means, but it's probably that we're beyond level 400, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. Level 1600. Holy shit. And even that's too. Yeah, it's, no, it's not good enough. Wow. 1320. It's pretty high, right? If you compare like the strongest adventure here, 444, basically we're like almost like triple that. But. I need to know, like, how strong is the god? You know, other people that's actually strong. What, what do these numbers actually mean? <laughs> Mew's higher than Tomoe? Implant that Mew could beat Tomoe? Well, the level isn't, like, an absolute indicator on, like, who could win versus who. <laughs> Mew's higher. I wonder how high these levels go. We're already in, like, the fucking four digits. Adventure card, let's go! SSS. Sophia Bulga, the Dragon Slayer. Interesting, because we're a dragon. 920, though. I mean, it's so lower, but still, I don't know. That's the next strongest. Greater Dragon Lancer. Is that stronger than Shin? Are you rivals? She didn't completely disregard Lance there, right? Lancer there, huh? So I guess it's kind of comparable. Interesting. Sophia Bulge. So this is the perfect setup in order for everyone to look down on him. Because we know that he is fucking busted, right? It's fine, it's fine. This is good. It's good, it's good, it's good. It's good, it's good, it's good. I wonder, yeah, I wonder what the level actually, like, measures, though, right? Because, like, he's already so fucking strong. And, like, his mana pool is really great, too, right? What the fuck are they measuring for this formula to get, like, a numeric value for, I don't know, a person's level? Like, wh wh what is that? Two rooms. We're gonna split beds? Okay, the money system here. 
beauty? You think the level's based on beauty? That would be a fucking hilarious twist because they're saying that the, the you know regular Earth humans are fucking ugly compared to the humans, right? <laughs> Yo, she, Tomo is really good at negotiating like this. Like, this isn't the first time where she just kind of like talks and just has a silver tongue. <laughs> Damn! I mean, now we're just fucking threatening him, but... <laughs> you know, okay, this is no longer negotiating. <laughs> We're doing some Yakuza shit right now, but she's, you know, she's kind of good at, you know, convincing the other party. They're <laughs> <laughs> all expensive. Inflation hit here too, huh? Yeah, why are you excited about this? Okay, she's just living her fucking samurai movie, you know, main character plot. So Tomo has to stay in here while Mio and, you know, she goes out? Just starve. I want to see Tomoe use a samurai blade, man. Okay, here we go. Here we go. But, like, wouldn't it be hilarious if, like, like she doesn't even know how to fucking use the sword? Like, she just punches people with the sword instead. Like, how, like, I doubt she knows how to be... Well, she's watched a lot of movies, you know? Maybe she's done a lot of mental training by just watching samurai movies. Let her cook. Oh my god, Neo. Hey, it's that girl again! She was looking at us when she entered here, right? I, I remember that. And the episode's ending! No! No! All right, that's the episode. Today's episode was a little bit more world building, right? So what did we get to learn? Well, we got to learn about the whole, you know, humans and, you know, they can't, we can't speak the human tongue because obviously the goddess kind of just fucked us. But also, are the dwarves seem to be kind of against the goddesses though, right? So I guess the goddess is like pro-human and we're basically against that, which is kind of interesting. Maybe the goddess is actually the end goal that we're supposed to defeat, you know? Like this show, you know, usually the goddess tells us to like, hey, kill the demon lord. But like maybe in this show, it's like, no, let's kill the goddess. That'd be an interesting twist, right? The dwarves are there. It's basically not like reincarnate as a slime because reincarnate as a slime took inspiration from this show. There's a lot of parallels and similarities in this, right? Basically going to create a sanctuary of different monsters and the humans fucking hate us because why? Because we just look like we're fucking a demon lord, right? We have like this like aura of like demon lords spoozing out. It's, again, it's like Veldora aura. Again, more similarities with Tensura, right? But he has a mask, goes in, there's like a currency system, there's different ranks. We, the, the, uh, the level system seems a little bit all over the place because obviously we're super strong. We're stronger than Tomoe and Mio. Also, the naming system, if you name them, if it's a correct name, it can get even stronger, right? But we've got to be near near the top, right? There's no shot that we're e rank. So this level system is just fucking bogus, right? It's absolute fucking bogus. I wonder what they're actually determining. Someone in chat actually said that what if it's def defined by like how good they look, which would be hilarious because apparently we the people, the humans think that, you know, we're fucking ugly, which he's not even though. He, he's not even ugly, bro. He's, he's not even, right? So we join both. No, we got to join the Merchant Guild as well. That's the other city. But we're kind of doing a little bit more setup by introducing like other characters like this Dragon Slayer, right? Who's who like hunted down Lancer, who is apparently not a joke character because, you know, Tomoe also recognized. And at the end, not sure what's going on here with everything being expensive, but we might get a little bit of Samurai Tomoe action. And a part of me wants her to not even know how to use the sword. How funny would it be if this girl just straight up just, you know, punches people while gripping the sword the entire time? You know, I feel like something dumb like that would happen, but if she's actually watched a lot of samurai film and she's gonna do funky like batu and fucking, you know, opens a zone around there, I'll take that too. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.